Uh, welcome, welcome back. Anyway, um, brand new year, 2022. <gasps> What's going to be happening this year? Anyway, I just thought I'm just playing around with my Amiga C32, and I just thought I'd do a little video, um, just showing what you could do with it if you don't get a picture or, de or decent. You know, you plug it into your monitor, the picture doesn't come up. You plug it into your TV, and it doesn't come up. And you're thinking, well, what the hell? That means you have to go and send it off to have somebody to recapacitate it or whatever you want to do. But I found a way, so if you don't get any picture, if you go on these TF cards that go in the back of the CD32, I think it's in one of my other videos, it's plugs in the back, and it's also got an RGB out port, which you use one of these things with. So I just thought I'd show you, because I was going a bit worried, because I thought, what the hell's the matter with this? So I just plugged it in to play a CD32 game I wanted to play today and I couldn't get no picture. So when I turned it on, I'll just show you now. I've got normal aerial lead in the back and I've got the RGB to start the TV. And you'll see when I turn it on, you've got no picture on here. It's not showing on my normal monitor. Look how crap it is, and I can't do anything with it to tune it in. So you're thinking, oh, is my monitor knackered? You know, is it gone faulty? Which is, nothing goes through your head, because these are not cheap, as usual. And then I've got a really crap picture on here, to the RF. So, again, oh, why is it so crap? It was perfect before. So anyway, I thought, oh, well, um, what's another way around it? So I've got my TF card out. And I thought that's got RGB on the back. So I plugged it in and you'll see a massive difference. And then I just plugged it in thinking, oh well, I wonder if the RGB would work. Let's change the source to it, which is the SCART. And as you'll see in a minute, still nothing decent on this picture. But as soon as you plug it into this, if it works, as everything does live, never doesn't. I'm getting. Oh my god. Oh, good idea if I plug the lead in, wouldn't it? Into the back of the RGB. Until it's come up on the other one. Just whack it on again. So then I've done it for the SCART through the RGB on the back of the TF card. And. Um, Hopefully it'll show it now. It takes a minute for the hard drive bit. As you can see, look at that. Absolute crisp. Yeah, I did a video about these before, but perfect example today, I've got nothing to normal um, RGB, nothing through the TV, RF for cable, and now I'm using the TF thing, it, it works. And look how crystal that looks again. So if all else fails, you can't afford to, Get one of these done at least that way there's also another option to get a picture of it anyway that's all i wanted to say for the new year um hopefully now i should start getting a few more videos out um hope that helps somebody um there's nothing worse thinking of this broken i mean we don't want our monitors to go especially the old phillips crt so we love them so i just thought well anyway hope that helps because like i say we all don't want to think of the worst Anyway, I'll catch you again in a few weeks or a month's time, whatever. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.